Hi, I'm Josh from Wisconsin Lighting Lab and today we're going to be talking about Light Poles 101, the different pieces and parts that make up each light pole. First, we'll start with the different materials that light poles are offered. First off, we have fiberglass. This will be like a woven strand style fiberglass weave. Then we have steel. So this is a galvanized steel shaft. Aluminum, an extruded aluminum. And not pictured would be a cement poles and wooden poles. We don't offer those last two options, so we're not going to uh, touch any more on those. Basically, a light pole is made up of several different parts. It starts with the base, the base casting or base plate, depending on the application. This is an aluminum base casting and would get welded to the shaft. In different scenarios, uh, mostly custom applications, we offer aluminum plates. These have a wider slot range to accept different bolt circles. And here they would get welded together and then reinforced with gussets. Moving up the pole, you will have a handhole cover and a handhole opening. If you look at this pole, you'll see the handhole opening and the cover would go over the top of that. This is allow the electrical contractors to access the electrical wires to make their connections from the fixtures from the wire coming out of the footing. Top of the pole would be covered with a top cap, a removable top cap, or a tenon, which would be welded to the top of the pole. This is for fixture mounting or mounting different brackets. If the pole gets a top cap, it's gonna be drilled through a fixture, which you can see a series of holes, and the fixture would have an arm and bolt to the side of the pole. Now there are other options for various mounting or electrical pieces and parts. One would be a festoon provision, which is a casting welded into the pole on a round pole. If it's a square pole, it's just an opening and you can put a switch to turn lights on and off or you can use a, a GFI receptacle uh, to plug in lights or extension cords, uh, a number of different applications. Another thing we offer is a coupling. This is a female coupling welded to the side of the pole. Contractors will use that to bring in their electrical conduit if the electrical wires are not coming up through the middle of the footing. Other times it's used uh, near the top of the pole if they want to mount a camera or bring conduit in or wires from a fixture into the pole itself. We do a number of different sizes from half inch all the way up to two inch and in, in various locations. To cover up the base casting, we offer a base cover and that's, it's a two piece cover and that would slide over the casting, hiding the anchor bolts. In the event that a pole needs a vibration dampener, we offer two different styles. One is gonna be an internal factory installed vibration dampener and is slid into the pole and then mounted onto the side of the pole two thirds of the way up with two bolts. So you'll see the heads of the bolts sticking out of the pole, uh, but you won't see this. In the event that your poles are in the field and they're having harmonic issues or showing sign of harmonic issues, we do offer a field installable version. Uh, this is a smaller version. Uh, again, it, this would run two thirds the length of the pole and you can slide this either up through the handhole opening or you can slide it down through the pole top and then it just sits on the base of the pole and then acts as the vibration dampener. Anchoring the pole to the base are anchor bolts and depending on the size of the pole, that'll depend on the size of the anchor bolt. For instance, here we have a 5 8 inch bolt for our smaller poles and here we have a 1 inch anchor bolt for our larger poles. And these are for our aluminum poles. If you look into the larger steel poles, those go up to an inch and a quarter, inch and a half. Even some of the taller sports poles will use a two inch by, I believe six feet long is the longest anchor bolt that we offer. That covers uh, most of Light Poles 101. Thank you.